Okay, so today we're going to look at uh, the bias of a Bayesian estimator of the mean of a normal distribution. So we're talking about a case here where we have a normal likelihood, a normal prior, and hence a normal posterior distribution. So we start off with writing down our expression for our Bayesian mean. And we'll just use a uh, mu hat as an estimator, b for Bayesian equals 1 over s squared divided by n over sigma squared plus 1 over s squared times m plus n over sigma squared divided by n over sigma squared plus 1 over s squared y bar. So the prior here, you had uh, m and s squared, and the likelihood normal y bar sigma squared over n. So note we write these in terms of our precision for ease. So the expected value of the estimator, well, these are all constants, so they'll have the same expected value. This is our variable that we're considering, so we note that the expected value of y bar is the true mean, mu. Our bias is the expected value of our estimator minus the true mean. So we have the expected value of mu hat b is the expected value of this expression up here, which is 1 over s squared divided by n over sigma squared plus 1 over s squared m plus n over sigma squared divided by n over sigma squared plus 1 over s squared times mu because the expected value of y bar is mu. So the expected value of mu hat b minus mu is 1 over s squared divided by n over sigma squared plus 1 over s squared m plus n over sigma squared n over sigma squared plus 1 over s squared mu minus, same above and below the line for simplicity, n over sigma squared plus 1 over s squared divided by n over sigma squared plus 1 over s squared mu. Well, if we group like terms together, we can get 1 over s squared divided by n over sigma squared plus 1 over s squared m plus, well, this and this cancel, so we get this plus becomes actually a minus 1 over s squared mu n divided by sigma squared plus 1 over s squared. And oh look, these are common terms, so we can group them together because we like things that nicely group together. 1 over s squared n over sigma squared plus 1 over s squared times m, which has our prior mean, minus the true mean. A little bit of simplification can be done here. So finding these as 1 over s squared n s squared plus sigma squared over sigma squared s squared times m minus mu and then we bring this above the line to get sigma squared s squared divided by s squared divided by n s squared plus sigma squared all times m minus mu 
and we divide these to get sigma squared over n s squared plus sigma squared all times m minus mu and that's our estimate of our bias of a Bayesian estimator of the mean given that we're working with a normal likelihood and a conjugate prior.